What's up, everybody? It is March 3rd, 2012. Uh, going into maybe day three-ish, I think, that Windows 8 Consumer Preview has been out. I have it installed on a few machines here. My last video, I went ahead and showed you real briefly the machines. The uh, HP Slate 500, the Tablet Tecra some odd mod model, and then also the Toshiba some odd model. Uh, all three of those are running Windows 8 customer pre uh, Consumer Preview. And I decided this morning that I would... I, I really didn't want to do it, but I did it. I put it on my main machine, but I did it where I just... I set it up to dual boot, so if something goes wrong or whatever, I could just get back to my Windows 7. Um, and just in case, like, maybe a piece of software doesn't work right or whatever, um, I just wanted to try it out on my main machine uh, with, with its configuration and everything. And so I installed it this morning. So far, so good. All the drivers have installed no problem on this machine. Um, the older machines over here, they have had, had a couple little issues, but... Um, on this one, it's running very smooth. I'm very happy with it so far. As you can see, I'm running Audacity right now to record the audio from my microphone. Microphone picked up right away. It's working great. Um, also installed Sony Vegas, what I use for editing all the videos. That seems to work so far. I haven't done a true test on it yet, but I will be editing that here. Um, and uh, everything that I normally run is installed fine. I have XChat on there, I have Office 2010. Um, with the dual screens, it works It works pretty cool with the dual screens. It now They now give you an option to have your taskbar mirrored on both sides. Um, you can turn that option off so you can have it like the, the old Windows 7 way where you just have one taskbar. But the cool part about having it mirrored like this is when I toggle the Windows button, the Windows key, only one screen actually brings up all the tiles, the start screen they call it. and um, but you can still see, maybe you have XChat. Like normally I would have XChat running over here. Oh, and when you're on the start screen, you can you can click over here and, and get right to whatever application you want to get to or the desktop just by clicking over there. So that's kind of cool. Like when you're, you know, if you want to just be on your start screen, you can still watch whatever app is running over there. Um, the tiles thing, I think it's a cool idea. I haven't really used it enough or made good use of it, so... For me, it's taken me longer to to do what I want, but it's only, I'm only on day three, and and uh, I don't really have a big use for like the weather tile and the people tile and the mail tile and everything because I normally run Outlook. Um, if I want to check the weather, I'll go on weather, whatever. Maybe I'll find myself getting used to this when time goes on or as time goes on, but as of right now, no, not really. When I installed Office, it installed all the icons on my start screen, which I I'm gonna remove a lot of them, but they're still there now. Uh, whenever you install soft, any software, instead of it putting it on your desktop, or instead of putting it in the start menu, it seems to now go here in some fashion. Uh, there's a lot of cool hotkeys, though. There's a lot of new hotkeys. In fact, I have them on my documentation here at home on my, my own wiki. And um, I do think that as I'm using this more and more, I'm going to use the keyboard a lot more, a little bit less of the mouse, because the hotkeys seem to get me where I need to go a lot quicker. Um, for example, right now if I wanted to do a quick search, you know like in Windows 7, before I, I got really dependent on hitting the start button, so to bring up the actual start menu, and then just start typing something, like whatever application or file you're looking for, normally it'll pop it up. Now, it, when you hit the start button, it takes you to the screen. It's okay, you just start typing. Like if I type... Um, Let's type uh, OneNote. Uh, so I'll type, oops, I'll type the word one. Automatically brings up OneNote right there. So all I got to do is hit enter. So really the keystrokes and everything is the same. But now you have three other sections. Now at first, the first few days, actually when I was using developer preview, I found this to be very annoying. When I want to search for like, let's say Windows updates. So if I just go, let's say we're on the start screen here and I start typing updates. Under apps, it shows none. So like by default, there's none. So I can't just hit enter. I actually have to hit the down arrow two times, hit enter, and then find what I need right there, arrow around, whatever. But the hotkeys, if you use, let's see, there's a couple of them. There's Windows Q will bring up the automatic search query for under apps, but Windows W, let's see, Windows W will bring up your settings search. 
So as long as you now just remember, like before you search something for under settings, you do Windows W. Oops, sorry. Windows W. Then you can just start typing updates, and you're right there already. Another cool thing is this file search. I thought this was pretty cool. And there's another there's a hotkey for that as well. Let's say you have a ton of files, like maybe you're working on a website or something. You know that the word um, something.php is in one of your one of your files, like inside the document. Okay, not the file name, but inside the document. If you just hold Windows F, that brings up your file search. So we're back here in the in the search area. So once you just start typing, there's it actually searches through the text strings in your files and it'll bring up it'll find the, f the files that contain those words so I made a couple files for testing I think I did it on this computer let me see I'm gonna type banana nope it was on another computer I'm also running MSE Microsoft Security Essentials um, down here in the taskbar let's see if this still works the zoom yep the magnifier sorry magnifier so down here in the taskbar you can still see I'm still running uh, Google Calendar Sync. I also have Flux installed on here, but I must not have turned it on to run by default. But the NVIDIA drivers installed just fine. Um, group policy stuff. Oh, this computer is also joined to the domain, along with my two laptops here. Um, <clears throat> picks up the group policy stuff that I set up just fine, no problems. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick video on kind of what I'm doing today, or not today, but like now, starting this morning. I'm going to force myself to run this, even though it's still just a consumer preview. Um, I just want to kind of get used to it, see what it can and can't do. Um, just try it out. So what do you guys think? Are you guys running this? Are you trying it? Are you dual booting? Or are you just running it in a VM? I don't know how well it would run in a VM. I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> Comment below. But anyways, all right. Uh, I'll be putting out a few more videos on probably the HP Slate this tablet and the Toshiba laptop and as well as this I'll be doing some screencasts from here too just to maybe show you Sony Vegas running um, you know just other bits of software other things that I normally do I still need to install FileZilla for all my website stuff um, I don't know a bunch of other stuff but so far so good it actually runs pretty well